on the ceiling by the open window and the curtains are dancing where the softest wind blows and the moon is so blue the moon is so Shadows on the ceiling by the open window, and the curtains are dancing where the softest wind blows, and the moon is so blue. The moon is so. What I love about life is that you get a fresh do over every day, and you know, it doesn't matter how much you've screwed up in the past. You know, when you wake up, you're always in the everlasting now. And that is the place of change. That is the place where you can affect change in your life. It really comes down to a decision. And it all happens in the space between your ears. You're always in now. You can never escape being in now. So what that really means is that, and there's a lot of books that talk about this, the science of getting rich, uh, think and grow rich, uh, the master key system. There's a lot of personal development that validates this. And also there's a lot of biblical things that point to this exact thing. The battle really is in your mind. And whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. So I want to just encourage you, you know, don't beat yourself up when you fall on your face. You're supposed to, if, look, if you're not falling on your face, if you're not experiencing failure, then you're not trying. If you're not having letdowns, then you are just afraid to take the steps. You know, uh, true entrepreneurs, true leaders, true pioneers are all people with great courage. You know, I've always said scared people stay the same. And you don't want to stay the same. You want to be moving. You were born to move. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not living, you are dying. If you're not moving forward, then you're actually going backwards. You never stay the same. Nothing in life is static. Everything that God created was meant to grow. You look at a, a flower. And even though you can't see it growing, uh, when you stare at a flower, it's either in a state of withering or it's in a state of growing. It's never just sitting there looking pretty. It's always moving, even though uh, the movement is infinitesimal to the, uh, um, to the naked eye. So, folks, uh, I just want to encourage you not to beat yourself up. If you've fallen on your face, if, if you let yourself down, today is a new day. You are in the everlasting now. Make the decision right this minute to make a positive change in your life and then go after it. Take the actionable steps and, and uh, forgive yourself for falling down. Forgive yourself when you let yourself down. Just pick yourself right back up and keep moving and allow yourself the freedom to be imperfect. More later. And the moon is so blue. Shadows on the ceiling by the open window, and the curtains are dancing where the softest wind blows, and the moon is. Yesterday, I was talking about uh, effect and change in your life, and the reason that you know that subject is hot on my mind is because that's what I'm doing in my own life. You know, um, every once in a while, you need to do a um, a redesign. You know. Uh, you never want to get uh, stagnant, you know, so there's some things in my life that I'm doing uh, I'm gonna be talking about later. I'm not even gonna give you a, a hint now, but I'm just gonna be documenting everything that I'm doing everything that I'm going through and uh, Look, I'm 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 a work in progress. I'm, I'm sad to report that at 49. I don't have it all together I'm still a work in progress. I, I you would have thought that I would have arrived by now, but unfortunately uh, I haven't. So uh, I'm still in, in the process of making those tweaks to my life, those life hacks, those those micro changes, and uh, you know, striving for the finish. Running the race with excellence is what it's all about, right? Okay, so here I am with my good friend Edwin. Uh, 
It's so sunny, I can't see the screen, but I think we're in frame. Say hello. Uh, hello, <laughs> YouTube people. Hello. Wherever. Hello, interwebs. So I'm out here shooting, and Edwin just happened to be driving by and saw me, and he parked, and uh, he came by to say hello. So we're going to uh, probably be cutting it up for a while. God bless. So I had a great day today, ran around, did some errands, bought some storage, some storage devices. Um, I was talking about affecting change earlier and you know, I'm completely out of my uh, normal routine. My normal routine is pretty much, uh, you know, run errands, go out to eat and stop at a coffee shop. And lately I've been bouncing around the city and shooting video and shooting time lapse. And I won't lie, it's been fun. And uh, I think that's part of it. You know, you take baby steps. Um, that's all you can really do is take the baby steps. And all those baby steps add up to a long journey. And uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cap it off tonight. I wanted to shoot more video, but I'm still wrestling with walking into a coffee shop with a camera and sitting the camera down next to me while I order something. That's how the, you know, the, the guys that have been doing it a long time do it. I still struggle with that. Like I feel like people think, "What's this guy doing? He's weird." <laughs> so I'll get better. But uh, anyway, uh, gonna go home and do some editing, and uh, later on we'll, we'll go to the gym. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll do some filming there later on.